Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Y'all, in this video, I am talking about how I get prepared for travel day, especially when I'm on the road, I'm camping, and I'm moving locations. There is a lot that I do, uh, specifically the day before I travel, to make sure that I am prepared. So I'm going to take you through my routine um, so I can ensure that my travel day goes as uh, flawlessly as absolutely possible. So like this video, subscribe to my channel, and let's get into the good stuff. Before travel day, I like to ensure that all of my power stations are as charged up as possible with my solar. So right now, everything is at 100% including my big van powers 1500 but i will leave it hooked up to my solar all day to make sure i have a really good charge going into tomorrow now of course i can charge my portable power stations while i'm driving but i won't be driving a lot tomorrow you know two hours or so and that's not nearly enough to get everything charged up so when i have a nice sunny day like this i make sure i get everything charged up with solar so i am good and nice and full going into the next day Generally on travel day, I fill up my water. So I have a couple of three gallon water jugs as well as four of these one gallon water jugs. So I consolidated. So now I have three empty one gallons and about half of a three gallon. So I consolidate that way when I stop for water, I know exactly how much I need and I am adequately prepared. I also go through my fridge and my dry food to see what I have left in terms of food and how long it's going to last me because also on travel day, if I'm only traveling a couple hours, I like to stop and stock up on food. So I go through my fridge, go through my dry food bin and make a list of everything I need. That way I don't forget everything and again, I am prepared. Although I'm fairly obsessive about cleaning my van, I also like to make sure that I wipe everything down really nicely before travel day so my van is nice and clean. I also actually went through and cleaned my purse today, cleaned it out, and I addressed a bunch of sticker orders that I have to put in the mail. So I have my Adventuring with Amanda stickers. Winston and I fulfilled a bunch of orders this morning. I will get those in the mailbox. So again, when I'm in town, I can get all of those little things done. Oh boy, it's windy today. So I also like to restock on some things before travel day. Again, make everything as easy as possible. So this morning I actually had to put in my, um, put in a new roll of paper towels. I refilled all my white bags to make sure those are nice and full. And I also do a laundry inventory to see how many clothes I have left before I have to do laundry so I can prepare for a trip to the laundromat when necessary. Oftentimes I will get a majority of my camp cleaned up before I go to bed for the night so I don't have a ton to do in the morning of travel day. It just makes it a little less stressful so tonight I will put away my rug and my broom, all of my solar, and just leave out my chair and Winston's playpen. On days where I know I'm going to use a facility for showering, um, like Planet Fitness, that's where I will be going tomorrow, I get my shower bag ready to make sure I have everything in it. That way I'm not in the parking lot making sure I have everything at last minute. So I get this prepared. That way when I get to Planet Fitness, I can grab it and go. And tomorrow, since I'm traveling with Maddie, I will go shower first while he stays with Winston, and then he will go shower after me. We will do the same thing for groceries uh, to make sure that he's not in the van by himself. So not only do I make a list of everything I need to do and what I need to get in terms of groceries, but I also map out my route that I'm going to take to ensure that I'm doing everything in the most fuel-efficient order and for what makes sense for the day. So like tomorrow, for example, I will do trash, then groceries and water, and then Planet Fitness, all in that order as I make my way down south toward Tombstone. 
I cleaned up for the evening. I put my big rug away, cleaned off my solar panels, and put, well, I guess I put most stuff away. I have Winston's playpen still out, my chair, my trash can, his ramp, and that stuff I will put away in the morning after I wake up and do my coffee and whatnot. Winston's playpen is over there right now in the shade but I wiped everything down before I put it away. That way I just have a lot less to do in the morning and it makes starting travel day so much easier when I don't have to put my entire camp away. So it is the morning of travel day and all I left out last night was the stuff that you see, well not the blankets, but Winston's playpen and my trash can and my chair. So now on a typical travel day, I like to make my bed and clean up everything so the van is nice and clean before we head out for the day. Unless I'm going to be washing all my blankets and doing a ton of laundry, then I might just kind of pile it in there, but time to clean up so we can hit the road. Huh, kid? So the last thing I do before I hit the road is make sure that my power stations are plugged into my van. So I have my Jackery plugged in right here, and then um, I already filled up my rooftop box, put that stuff away, and I <clears throat> have my van powers plugged in. So my van powers is plugged into the front here so I can have those while charging. I mean, granted my van powers is at 98%, but I wanna keep it, of course, as full as possible. So now I have my shower bag ready, and last thing to go in the van is my trash. All right, kiddo's ready to travel. He just took a big sip of his water. I got my coffee, got my water, got everything plugged in. Tombstone, here we come. You ready to travel today? <laughs> Good boy. How are you? Hi, sweetheart. Good. How are you? Doing well. What can we start for you? And number two, please, with no lettuce. Okay. And animal style fries with a Coke. Right on. And also a pup patty. Okay. And did you uh, want any onions on that cheeseburger with no lettuce? Uh, no, thank you, sweetheart. Perfect. So I got a cheeseburger, no lettuce or onion, a meat patty with no salt, and an animal fry and a Coke. Yes. So to be enjoyed in the car, take it home. Uh, in the car, please. Right on. Eleven ninety-five for a photo, please. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Have a nice rest of your day. You too, honey. All right, so In-N-Out has pup patties, which is basically just a meat patty without salt. So that is for Winston, and I'm going to indulge in this very delicious meal. Perfect fuel for travel day, how about? We stopped at the South Tucson Planet Fitness because I have a black card membership, and these bathrooms are so luxurious. The shower is so awesome, and I didn't even have to get a locker because it's big enough for me to put all of my stuff in, so this is going to be very refreshing. We left camp around 9.45 this morning, and we are arriving in Tombstone around 2.30. I did fuel up, we got water, we got groceries, we stopped at in and out to get lunch, we went to Planet Fitness to shower, and those things took a little bit of extra time because Maddie stayed with Winston while I got my groceries and I did my shower. So after that, the drive from the Planet Fitness was about an hour and 15 minutes south, and now we are arriving in Tombstone. We are staying here two nights. We're going to spend the day in town tomorrow, and we actually found a cash pay RV park not even a block away from the main street in Tombstone. I found it on Campendium, and it's on some other sites as well. It doesn't have hookups. It is completely dry camping, but it's $10 a night, and Maddie and I figured it would absolutely be worth it, so we had a place to stay near town because there's not a lot of BLM land around or free camping, so we figured, hey, if we're going to pay, we might as well get a close spot. So that's what we're doing right now. We are arriving into the campground. And what I am going to do is actually do a feature just on the RV park alone. I guess it's not really a campground. It's uh, considered an RV park. But talking about minivan camping at campgrounds and RV parks because I have done plenty of that. And it is often worth the cost especially because I have Winston and like I said, we will be walking into town, so it's worth it. 
On our left, there was a paid day camping spot, but no overnight parking. So we're headed just a little bit further down the road to the RV park. I was a little bit worried about finding a spot, but it's only Tuesday, so I'm sure the weekends are a lot busier, and we're down here after the big spring break rush. So I was pleasantly surprised when we pulled in to see that there was plenty of space. And as you can see, it's a big dirt lot, but that's okay. We just need somewhere to be for two nights. I'm really excited to show you guys Tombstone. It's very near and dear to my heart. This will be Maddie's first time visiting and Winston's first time. So I'm excited just so stoked to be here. It's something I've been wanting to do with Winston for a long time. And we're finally here. So stay tuned for a lot of awesome tombstone content. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and we will see you next time.